Hi friends! Welcome to Doggo Vlogo. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up for me. Oh. Apparently Lily's really into it today. So today we're going to be talking to Joyce from Nature's Pet Loss in Brooksville, Florida, talking about a different type of cremation for your pet. Um, it's aquamation, which they take water to cremate your pet, which is a little bit gentler, just kidding, a lot gentler than regular cremation. And it's just a very interesting thing that I didn't know about. So let's go talk to her and find out some more about that business. So can you just tell me a little bit about why you started the business? Why, why is it so important to you to have this compassionate place for people? When people lose their loved ones, that becomes the most devastated day of their life. I was working for companies before and they just took advantage of the people. I got very upset with that. Um, that's why I, I don't use a lot of vets because it's monetary reasons for them. Um, I know I shouldn't be saying that, but it's my, my feeling, my gut feeling. Um, we, we step above the other companies. We really do care. We really show the love here. Uh, we pet them, we treat them with love, dignity, respect all the way through. To me, that's the most important thing. Uh, the other part that we do is guaranteeing the remains. That to me also is important because if you're going to pay for cremation and it's virtually the same price, wouldn't you want to know that it's your family member? Right. Uh, we were offered uh, different places to go and we decided this was a good place right here. Uh, so we're putting Brooksville on the map. We've had people come from Philadelphia, Ohio, a couple days ago from Georgia. So we have people across the United States using us. Uh, we're very proud of what we do. We're very compassionate what we do. And we're very loving all the way. Uh, to, to provide a service to make sure that this is going to be the care, the love, is something that we will always do. Uh, other companies could do it for the monetary reasons. Uh, we only do virtually about two pets a day, which is completely different from the other companies. They're doing anywhere from 50 to 100. We want to spend the time with you. I don't want to ever get too busy for my own bridges because then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not doing the love, the care, the compassion. So if you bring your family member to us, you'll see all the way through that this is what we need to do and this is where we stand and these are our standards and they are the gold standards. Can you, um, you know, we're in this room. Can you explain what this room is for people? Yeah, what, what I found that being in the human industry for funerals is that people need to have a way to say goodbye. Uh, there's sometimes people say they don't want to use the room. Uh, we'll bring the family member in here and we'll say, okay, you know, before you leave, take some time to say at least goodbye, they come in here, next thing you know, they're here for a half hour, two hours. It doesn't matter. Uh, not realizing that we don't need it, and then all of a sudden finding out that we did need it, is another way to help for the step of grieving. Uh, we go home, and the house could be empty, and we're wondering, where is our family member? Where did we leave them? How are they taking care of them? Did I get a chance to say goodbye? These things come into play. I, you could see everything that we have. We're, we're completely transparent. The other companies won't even let you in the back. Uh, if they do, there's a lot of tidbit things I could teach you to look for. Um, knowing that you don't own a crematory, so you wouldn't know what to look for. Uh, the other thing is making sure that you can get through the steps of grieving. The grieving is, is the hardest thing you can go through. Uh, I went through a depression. so. I'm not saying that you'll go through a depression, but it's not good to be unhealthy. So we're here to make sure that you go through the grieving part in a healthy manner. Right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to talk about it and kind of educate us a little bit. Well, if, <laughs> if you didn't do this, mm -hmm. you know, and helping us to get the word out, 
people would know. So we thank you as well. It's not just you thanking us. Mm -hmm. We really are grateful for you stepping into the plate and doing this because this, this means a lot to us. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.